Okay, folks, the most factual and dramatic evidence right now. Now, you watch the stake, and now we know that they get 23 to 24 hours, and I'm kind of backing up. You will see the clock move here. Watch this clock. Okay, this is early evening, and yes, they get 23 to 24 hours of daylight down there. Now, we're going to see it go to darkness or eclipses of whatever, of the envelope of the supergiants and all the stars and the suns that make everything bright down there and yes possibly could be a storm going on too around close to this time too but as you will see you're going to end up seeing and watching the clock you're going to see basically some of the stuff of the super giants basically come up because basically like you've seen that you basically had the darkness of down at Antarctica okay now you watch to the right and you will see more than likely Proximity Centauri or whatever, and then also anything out in space that puts light off. And you're going to see, eventually here you're going to end up seeing the sun and whatever is in front of the sun cluster up. Because we're going to go to AM, early AM, where basically, I mean, you know, late AM where the, the sun comes up, okay? Because we're going to keep going here and you're going to see whatever out of the super giants, Proximity Centauri and whatever. Because this is a different angle. This is shooting south, more towards out in space, directly off of of Earth's ass, if you were basically, but you notice it more because basically you can see the sun in the supergiants. Now, we are getting close to where the sun's coming up now, okay? And as you noticed earlier to the right, I'm going back a little bit, see, that was all the suns from the supergiants, you see? That was all suns from supergiants. Now, I'll click forward again real fast, and we'll get back up to close to where the sun's coming up. But what's going to be dramatic is down there, you're going to end up finally seeing what they've probably seen. Maybe what the first scientist had ever had an idea that there's way more than one sun, probably seen more than likely this kind of action at one time or another years ago. Maybe the first explorers expeditions down there. Okay, now more than likely, this is a cluster up here that we've seen and they have different names. I'm not even going to say the names right now of stuff that's in front of the sun up there above. Okay, now we do know that the sun's there somewhere. Okay, but see that's the dramatic thing. Look at the hole. You see that? That is whatever dark dead star is behind the sun way back in the supergiants or where the hell out in space. Or there is a sun, like we've always said, we know that there's a sun that's uh, four and also there's a one that's 78 times the size of the sun Okay, in the supergiants. Okay, now this is 655. Yeah, no duh, the sun's coming up. Okay, but as we go through this footage back, I'll Pull back and we'll get the super giants in Proximity Centauri, Rigel Centaurus A or B or whatever the hell's coming up there to the right. You see? Okay? And then it'll go back to the darkness. Okay? Because it'll go back to whatever little envelope of time you see, the darkness. And then you can go back to the, watch all the footage that I showed you the stake and showed you how that basically they get 23 to 24 hours of daylight down there right now and so forth and so on. Now we're moving away from the sun again finally. Okay? at 6,000 miles an hour faster through space than 60,000 miles an hour that we normally go through space. We're going around about 6,000 6, miles an hour and faster. So no, 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 no matter what, but more than likely this is not just the sun coming up right there. It's probably another one of the supergiant suns coming up just before the sun there, the brightness up by the clouds, okay? And then we step, and more than likely this could be the sun. Sun's somewhere here, okay? But there comes your big gigantic, and everybody would say, oh, it's the halo of the sun and the idea that it's huge. Yes, it is huge, but it's not that huge, okay? Jupiter is 10 point something of them would be the, the sun. Basically, 11 Jupiters, which Jupiter is huge. It's the biggest thing we know in, this, in, the, in the Milky Way galaxy, okay? But through the, uh, everything in space, the supergiant main sequence, and tons of other stuff that's out there, this is a dramatic shot here that you get from going, viewing south. You see it starting to develop up a little bit right here, and then there's the sun. Somewhere the sun is there. But is, that should not be just the whole sun right there, okay? No matter what, you just seen me go through and showing you something out of the super giants from the right over there and they're all out there and if you watch the video just before this that I'm uploading right now you will see more formations of the super giant suns and so forth and as you see this goes through you see a sun dog of whatever sun but then again that also possibly could be three or one small or whatever sun of the super giants and stuff okay and as you see different suns put off different little steam clouds off of the cold Arctic snow. 
And as you see, you watch the clock. I'm going back. And here comes the sun, one way or the other, one where in there, there's the sun, okay? And like I said, that could have been the sun. It could also be a sun that's in front of the supergiants, I mean, in front of our sun, known. And because basically, if you go to the data that I showed in the last video of the suns and supergiants and so forth, basically, you get you to watch that. And as we get rid of that, because we don't need that. So basically, the most dramatic thing is right at this time frames here. And I think at this one here, as you see that envelope, okay? And that's not just cold, arrogant, and burnt up, ladies and gentlemen. That is being able to see way the hell out into space as we rotate towards the sun, suns, okay? And as up on the very top, you can see that there's a cluster, and that's probably one of those clusters that's in front of the sun. And it could just be this, but it's not. It's really not. We know scientifically now that that's not just the sun right there, okay? And this is a possibly massive one of the supergiants way back somewhere, or at least maybe even, so it's either or. Because you see the brightness there. That's the sun or the suns, or one of the smaller suns of the supergiants or in front of the sun that we know we have. And then the idea, this is darker light back here, folks. But actually see... This outside area here is brighter than this area is. It's deeper bluish darkness back there. And no, I'm not saying that's the meatball. That's not the meatball at all. The meatballs, the big stuff is Uranus and, and Neptune and stuff like that. And they're not that big, but the meatball is in the darkness to us. And that's why we ended up seeing it at the Hawaii footage. So let me go ahead and queue up some of the sort of match up and watch the video before this and I really go through this okay this is all those suns and stars okay you see that 100 nearest stars the sun is a star ladies and gentlemen okay and then we go down to here and we basically start going through the super giants main sequence okay now Cyrus is over here Cyrus B okay now Cyrus itself is way the hell bigger okay and we're gonna go down to a map here in a second now you should be able to see all these stuff come up Barnard star Proxima Centauri when we get into numbers, I'm just going to hit it because basically you'll be able to freeze your screen and so I don't tongue-tie myself, okay? And a lot of this stuff's overlapped in there right now, okay? Now, you do know that about behind the sun, and basically I'm just going to keep on. I should be have enough time in this video here to do it just like I did in the last one. Hopefully they'll just keep clicking up and you'll keep on getting the names. But that's how they group out there, folks, okay? And we should be popping into the sun. There's the sun, okay? And then... I'm not sure how much more is here really close to the sun. Rigel Cantaris A, there we found that. A chard, okay. But there's the sun, folks, hanging out with Rigel Cantaris A and a chard, okay. Altair, and there's other supergiant suns back here, folks. There's over 100 suns in the supergiants, 101 with the sun hanging out in there, okay? So we go down here to some physical sizes, and you'll, and you'll see, okay? But the most impressive thing at all, and what I've, the footage, if you watched the one before, is now Cyrus right now is in the group, okay? But you see the different size. Everybody's, well, Cyrus, this is only this and that. Yeah, Cyrus B, okay? Cyrus. Okay, and I'm not sure if they even call Cyrus actual Cyrus is is A or not, because Cyrus is back there. You see how huge? Okay, and then let's go to some info on Cyrus. Okay, so easily visible with the naked eye. Okay, this is all on Cyrus. Effective temperature is 94K, so if I remember right, that's hotter than the sun, okay? It's 2.6 sizes of the sun, okay? So there is stuff in the supergiant's main sequence that's 78 times the size of the sun, okay? So, and then currently, right now, we've got Cyrus there, and then we should be able to get a map of Cyrus. That's what's hanging out in the sky right now. If you had a telescope and you look out there, okay? So, our footage from down here at Palau gives us some very interesting details, ladies and gentlemen. Because no matter what, it's showing us something huge back there, larger than the sun, okay? Because as you see that this is maybe even not even the sun, it's one of those elements that's in front of the sun. And the sun's up here somewhere behind that, or if, even if you want it, well, that's the sun, okay, that's the, okay, that's the sun 
and there's way more than one sun as we've showed you through the video here a little bit ago but we get a great view from the south pole of antarctica and you can even kind of see just a little bit of it on the right hand side of there that there's something massive okay because we already know that there's stuff massive in behind the sun that's 78 times the size of the sun. Four. And as I just showed you, Cyrus is 2.6 times the size of the sun. Okay? And hotter than the sun. Okay? And all that stuff in that grouping that I just showed you in the hertzberg russells and that's how that's that whole snake of the supergiants. And basically there's a lot of space that basically astronomers and astrologers have always grouped in their secret little things and they're always going to keep doing that and then we go into another either a eclipse or so much or a basically it looks like some somewhat or that are just cloud cover that blocks out a lot and then basically you've got suns supergiant suns whatever is lights it up down there 23 to 24 hours a day down in antarctica Okay, weather, it might just be weather here that's doing all this blocking and so forth and so on. Okay, but there, and then we went through the time, and we just go through it again here real fast, and then we get eclipses or dark or storm, and then we get something out of the supergiants or space, it doesn't matter, because the sun does not come up at 23 UTC. It's considered as sunlight down there, but it's not the sun. As you can see, it'll be to the right. And it's one of our, with that rotating, and it might be even be more than one of those suns that comes up down there. Okay, and then it goes up behind the clouds. And then later on, we get all these groupings. And like I just showed you all the scientific data that all the astrologers and astronomers look at, it lines up. All the stuff ends up lining up at one time or other during the day. On the rises, they all line up. Not exactly. There's always going to be highs and lows out there. But all this stuff that's out there with Cyrus and all the other supergiants. So everybody likes to get a tan, but be careful with your eyes out there, folks, because right now, currently, we have some angles of all the suns and the stars, which basically all these, and there's a hundred of them if I go through the whole list, okay, that are near Earth, okay? Not just the sun, okay? There's ton tons of stars out there, okay? As I went through these earlier, okay? So protect your eyes. Or a good pair of sunglasses. And we are further away from the sun now, but we still have other sun elements that are out there. Global warming is all a bunch of BS and political BS. Okay, uh, We might get warmer and so forth and so on, but it's just because of our positions in space at angles of suns, ladies and gentlemen, that they all know is out there. So don't let them w work all this astrological and astronomy science and data that they've known for years because they know all this stuff. Okay, so more sharing and educating and political sharing and news sharing in the United States of America, be no black. And all these are, I can't show you Cyrus just bam in your video monitor, folks. That's as small as you can get it, okay? And other stuff that's out there. Now we know that there's items uh, like. Rigel Cantaris A is like way, uh, yeah, bigger, it's just a little bit bigger than the sun. And there's other stuff. What, what do we find in here that's bigger than the sun right now as far as supergiants, as far as physical size comparison on our chart? I guess basically all we're really going to be looking at is, is Cyrus, I guess, in a sense. But you got all these out there, and then there's a hundred stars in the supergiants main sequence. Okay? So let me pop the hundred and see what we can get. And basically, Altair, I think I've talked about that before, and that's pretty much behind the sun, a little, quite a damn ways, a long ways away. But it's 1.8 million. I went 1.8 mass, sorry about the million, saying million, and 78K. So it's a little bit cooler than I believe that I was showing you, or pretty much close to the same, I guess, the K that uh, Cyrus is. Okay. So all this stuff's out there and exists. There's way more than the sun is, is a sun for us and the stars, okay? Stars are suns. And here's Kruger. Just bouncing through stuff real fast to finish the end of this tape. But Kruger is just a little bit smaller than the sun, folks. 3,500K as far as heat and so forth. And 13 light years away. Uh, and just a little bit smaller than the sun. About 
some more data doesn't lie to you.